Hey, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a slideshow using iPhoto. It's pretty cool stuff. Really, They make it really easy. So all you have to do is open up iPhoto and select the event, or you can even say photos and select that. And then just go down here to the bottom and click on slideshow. Now it'll take over your whole screen naturally. And then it gives this little dialog box on different themes, music, and settings you can apply to your slideshow. So what I'll do is I'll say, let's go scrapbook, sure. And I'm gonna choose some music. You can even preview the music um, you know, from different iTunes. So <laughs> You've got your iTunes stuff in here, and uh, you can actually, you know, find a different source by clicking on source. And um, yeah, let's see if there's some party songs could use here. Sure. How about some cut canvas? So we can preview that. Oh, don't have that one. How about back to theme music? What's this one? All right, so now we got music. Settings. Uh, you can play each slide for a minimum of however many seconds you want. Let's make it mm, five seconds. I guess that's, yep, that's the bottom. So minimum five, and you can go up to, let's see here, probably 10 seconds, I would guess. Wow, much longer. Well, I only want five. Um, lastly, you can fit the slideshow to the music. So basically what that'll do is it uh, figures out how long your song is and then adjusts the length of each slide to make it so that it'll play for the whole song. Uh, if it's a long song, like some orchestral really lengthy song, you probably don't want that. Um, you probably want to use the five second thing, six second thing, because then you'll know exactly how long the slides will be up because you don't want to be sitting watching a slide for half an hour. Um, okay, then you can either show or not show the title slide. You can shuffle it up and you can repeat. I'm going to turn off repeat. Uh, and if you like the settings you've got, the song you've got, you can make that your default by just checking here on the bottom as the last thing. Then all you have to do is go ahead and hit play. Okay, so that's how you make your slideshow. Uh, pretty fun and easy. Now, if you want to export your slideshow, all you have to do is go File, Export, or Shift Apple E, and then you just go over here to Slideshow on the right, and it gives you a number of options for sizes, um, and you can also customize this as well. So um, I'm going to do a medium and automatically send the slideshow to iTunes, and I could just hit Export just like that. Or I could do a custom export and save the name as Fun Slideshow. And I can tell it where to go. So let's just put it on my desktop. And let's say iPod. And there we go. Let's hit save. And that'll export the slideshow uh, you know, with the settings that we've made. And uh, it'll end up on my desktop. And I can watch it on my iPod, or if you change the settings, um, there'll be those little gray dots that you saw to say you know, where you can watch it. You know, if it's too big, you're not going to be able to watch it on your iPhone or something like that. So that'll export onto my desktop, and then I can save it, share it with friends, send it to whoever, and you know, watch it on my iPod. So that's how you make a slideshow in iPhoto. Pretty easy and fun. And uh, yeah, play around with it, change some settings, and uh, have fun. Send any requests that you've got to request at mahalo.com.